Look how beautiful this place is. It is out of a dream. Pura vida. Come join my family on our dream vacation and see the exotic animals, dramatic landscapes, and natural beauty that Costa Rica has to offer. A place where mermaids can be found on beautiful beaches to a fascinating world beneath your feet. Dive right in. For one week in the land of volcanoes and nature's garden, come get a taste of the Pura Vida in Costa Rica. It is Saturday, February 25th. We are getting ready for a road trip down to Long Island where we will be flying out of JFK to go to Costa Rica. Right now in Milton, Vermont, the temperature is negative seven degrees Fahrenheit. It is cold outside and I am looking forward to getting rid of all this snow and being on a beach. So we packed our carry-on bags and flew two Delta flights, JFK to Atlanta and Atlanta to San Jose. We eventually took a shuttle over to the sixth car rental and started the long drive to La Fortuna. So we are in Costa Rica and making the drive to La Fortuna. We're in our rental car and we are passing by some of the uh, local folks here and it is kind of eye-opening. It's 81 degrees and humid. We left it was like negative 10. So we're dealing with a 91 degree difference from yesterday to today. Oh, look how, look how beautiful that is in front of us. The drive from San Jose to La Fortuna was roughly about three hours. It is scenic, passing many winding roads high up in the Costa Rican countryside. Route 702 roads were in good condition generally. Bridges converge into one lane and do not have lights, and some of the driving can be kind of crazy. So be careful. Drive carefully. Airbnb at La Fortuna. It's called Jawara, and we love it. It's beautiful. Give me a quick little tour. This is the outside here, sliding glass doors on the front, plus this door. Coming inside the main space, nice and open concept. We love the master bath's overhead shower and stone path walkway. This right here is the hot tub, open area, three quarter walls with an open fourth wall facing right outside, a little dining space, a sink, hibachi grill. This was our hot tub, very awesome hangout space over here. And supposed to have a view of Arnal Volcano right there. Super cool being in the hot tub, just having Arnal right in view. It seems like it's just personal, you can touch it, it's just yours. Uh, I really love uh, that intimacy from this place right here. But unfortunately, it is obscured in the clouds. Eventually, the clouds parted enough, and I was able to fly my drone. Just look at how close we were to Arnal Volcano. Our view was breathtaking. Guati. The next day, a wrong turn on our way to Mystagogue Park allowed us to discover Kawati and the beautiful Lake Arnal. Oh, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How did you... We decided to fly the drone and get a view from the air. Arnell Lake is gorgeous. If I'd come back and do this again, I would try to get out on that lake in some way, shape, or form. It is magical.
We arrived at Mystico Hanging Bridges and decided to eat lunch at a small cafe near the entrance, where we enjoyed a beautiful view of the volcano. Bring water and walking shoes to go along the 16 hanging bridges. Our bridge. We have Mystico Hanging Bridges. And we are on the first bridge. It's kind of small. And we get to walk through the jungle. Let's see what's in store. They're enormous. Some more crutter ants? Well, I see one. And it's carrying the crow leaf. Okay, we're at the second one. The first one terrified me. I'm afraid of heights. This one's 53 meters in length. And let's walk out on it. I'm going to use my other hand here to hold on. <clears throat> these bridges rock and roll. And as long as I got my hand on one of these, I think I'm good. But I have my drone in my hand and GoPro in this hand. I've used... Uh, oh my god, these things are rocking and rolling. So I'll try to get out more towards the center. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Easy, easy. Who's who's moving up? <laughs> oh, brother. Step by step. Step by step. But if you do, you got a beautiful view of the jungle below. This is definitely not for the faint of heart like me. But uh, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. So if I can do this, I guess people can do it. Just look forward, I guess. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so this is something you, gotta, you do need to walk kind of slow on because if you start walking fast, it starts rocking and rolling even more. But, uh... <laughs> Mystical Hanging Bridges Park. We got lucky. We were able to see a little bit of uh, Arnal Volcano before it got obscured by some cloud cover. And we are walking through the jungle at Mystico Hanging Bridges Park. Cutter ants are fascinating. But did you know that in addition to being strong, the leaves that they are carrying are for a fungus that they feed and essentially harvest. That's mind-blowing. Dad, take a picture of your iPhone. It will copy it. And not blur it. Dad, I think so. By real close. <laughs> we did a night tour at the Anura Amphibian Conservation Farm. Shout out to Eddie, our shuttle driver, and Carlos, our tour guide. Very busy. They make like little streets. Yeah. <laughs> the frogs are right.
almost all Central America. So they have a very nice uh, way to uh, take advantage of disturbed areas. So you can find it very easy around. Uh, they have a very interesting way to make their cell disappear and is uh, out of this noise they can make so and also out of this noise we have the name ding frog and they kind of do ding ding <laughs> other way to sing it's very interesting because uh, this uh, sound go out and hit the environment in a frequency that make our sense confused so when i look that noise I'm gonna be looking for it right here. I feel it is right here. But maybe the frog is there. Or there. Or there. You never know. So and the harder you try to find it, are worse for you. Definitely recommend doing the night walk at the Enora Amphibian Sanctuary. I'm happy to support the conservation of these living organisms. We drove over four hours from La Fortuna to the west coast of Costa Rica at Jaco. Along the way, we stopped at a delicious vegan food place, Love Eats, where the owner made us feel right at home. In addition to delicious and healthy food, the place was a sanctuary. Before arriving at Jaco, we stopped to walk across the Tarcoles Bridge and River to gaze at the American crocodiles along the riverbank. And there's one in the water right there too. There's several in the water over there. Do you see them? Yeah, I see them. And that one over there moved. I guess the guy's telling us. Daughter, okay. They're real. Sick. Prehistoric. Yeah. Oh, there's a bird. There's a bird. You can see. Look at the the footprints. Look, Birds eating bird. some food. People obviously throwing things down in there. Caracoles River. Very beautiful. at Hako and we are at the beach accidentally. Hako is one and a half hours away from San Jose and is a booming beach destination for tourists and Ticos alike. Hako hosts diverse cuisine, consistent surf, bustling nightlife, and proximity to other nearby places. We went food shopping and ended our day at the pool. Our Airbnb was called Beach Macaw 24. We'll include links in the description below. Our hostess Angie greeted us with a typical breakfast or desayuno typico, which was slamming delicious. It's a really pretty yellow-headed bird. Oh, flying away, looks like it's catching on to me. Won't let me get too close and this camera is not the best. There it goes. We spent all day at the beach and had an expensive but very delicious dinner at Heikako's. The next day we took an hour and a half drive south of Hako to visit Manuel Antonio National Park, whose crystal blue waters were the highlight of the trip for me. Park patrons must buy tickets online the locals can be a little overwhelming. I would return and spend more time here. Water, cold, one dollar. Three, that one. Water, water. 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 Water.
feed hummingbirds. encounter with this guy on our way back from the beach. We made it back in time to catch this beautiful sunset. Perro. Perro. Uh, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo se llama tu perro? Bella? Bala. 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 This uh, GoPro can pick up the sounds. Everything is just popping right now. I'm 
Yeah, yeah I'm curious too. It, it, uh... we can do about it now. Love it. I do. We saw a sloth on the beach. drove 30 minutes to the south to visit La Playa de Esta Rios Hueste, a hidden gem. There's a gorgeous statue of a mermaid called La Serena. Warm waters and pristine beaches? Shh, keep this place a secret. things our week at Costa Rica had to come to an end. We woke up early, loaded up the car, checked out of the Airbnb and drove to the airport. Our vacation was a dream come true. Until our next adventure, thank you for joining and Pura Vida!